2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to tonight's game, everybody. It's the Chicago Bulls facing off against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Well, for the Bucks, with a loss in game one, they surrendered home court advantage in the series. Tonight, a crucial game for them as they seek to remain in contention. Well, you talk about playing with pressure early in a series after dropping game one. Shaq, how badly does this team need to win tonight? If they lose, I can see the fans leaving with paper bags over their heads in embarrassment. That said, I think they right the ship and get the win. Well, check this out, guys. I was on a team. Bless the beat. We were going 0-2 at home. We Ooh, played two tough. games at home, went 0-2, and won the series. But the odds are stacked against you, but you got to have supreme confidence in yourself to do that. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Shaq. Wonderful answers. And I mean that. Press. Dress like a pro. That's a look at our setting tonight. The picturesque city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hi again. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Well, it was a great game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, game two, just about ready to tip off. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Porter and Markin in the duo at forward. Be out there with Zach Levine. And it's Carter in at the five. And for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Ilyasova in at the five spot. What a surge it's been for the Bucks at the top of the Eastern Conference last year. 60 wins, the most since 1981. Right, and much like those teams from uh, from the 80s, they fell short in the end. Again. And that's been the rub with the Bucks is, you know, is you look back at so many years in a row, so close, couldn't do it. And then this last year against Toronto, you know, they win the first two, the increase double OT. And then all of a sudden, a week later, their season's over. So they've never quite been able to get over the hump since the days of Lou Alcindor. The nice thing is, though, this team is making the, the, the mandatory steps, it seems, that all these teams eventually have to make to get to where they want to go. Right. They're trying to keep the team together that they succeeded with last year. Here's B. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. There. They get it going. One. For Chicago, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. And that one, good. Beautiful find by Carter. Sees the floor really yeah. to run the old kick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. <laughs> hey, dunks aren't always. I do, and I take it really seriously. I do too. Yeah, I feel the same way. I, I mean, really like, care. Our about name it. is attached to. Yeah, yeah. I also like when I wrote my book. I really rely. So, and from everything we're hearing, Bill, the draft one and done aspect may be coming to an end. I think for me, the G League is the key to all this. I would like to see the guys come right out of high school and go to the G League and have an actual infrastructure that's attached to the world. G League was hitting the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Levine wide open. Connects from three-point range. Yeah, there's now five baskets in a row in the paint. Harder on the wing. Fires it up. Offensive rebound. Markinen. And he uses the glass on the way up. Kemba Walker where he makes the NBA team and now his supermax is 240 million right. instead of 28 like that's crazy and in a salary cap week to pay 50 million dollars a year for somebody is just nuts it compromises to like 32 million or something make it so that it's not Percent, percentage of the total yeah. Yeah, yeah make his cap figure is 32 even if you're paying with the long range bombs here in the second quarter outside Porter has to be that one he's got six here in this quarter fuck it in the paint bill it's no secret that your heart lies in boston just what was it like growing up in and around that area? well it's definitely the reason that i like sports boston like something that's happening like celtics making nba playoff round the bruins making a puck run 
the Red Sox in September when the Yankees against the Bucks was tremendous. He finished with 47 points and seemed to B, guarded by Bledsoe. B, the pass to Carter. Two points, that one goes. Carter's got his for... Probably Giannis, because he's, he's still turning young 25 this year. year. I still feel like the ceiling of what he's going to do is go up as he becomes more of a shot maker. He's really durable, which I think is underrated. Like, he's just built to play basketball. Um, there's certain guys like that. Bucks on defense. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And there's the shot dunk to finish it off. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of display on the target. That makes them three for five. Here's B. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. For Chicago, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. And he's been inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's B. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. This will be his fifth trip to the free throw line. A different look for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Some urgency from him there. Sure. B, the pass to Carter. Outside, Levine. B, defended by Ilya Sobo. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Well, you look at B, leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. And the first one at the line is good. Kyle Corfin, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Young's checked in for the debate on the court. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. B, guarded by Bledsoe. Outside, Porter passes it to B. That one drops for him. B's got 30. B, guarded by Bledsoe. To the paint, there's Markinen. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass. The defense struggling to contain them. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. That's it, and the Milwaukee lead is cut back. B, defended by Ilya Sova. Here's B. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. Wow, wow. He got racked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And the Bucks with some changes. By Alitza. Who's just a, without making mistakes. Pass to Marjanovic. Right on the ball. Improves his passing each and every year. Here's B, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. First free throw is good. He's passed to Marjanovic. Down low, B, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Goodbye, Bledsoe. Here's B. Here's Markinen. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You love to see Markinen attack the glass. Already a better rebounder than advertised. Kyle Corvin, he's checked in for the Bucks. Reddit comes in for backup mercy from beyond. There's the double team with Corvin. Pass to Hutchison. Basket good. It's always risky to throw the double team at someone. You a turnover and an easy bucket in transition. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leader. Well, you look at B, an uncommonly gifted pass leading the league in a And 
good. And the Bulls going the other way now. Here's B. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Milwaukee making a switch. B. Guarded by Bledsoe. To the inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. No good on that. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. And it's in the books so far here in the fourth. So the Bulls five right now. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. Larkin and Carter are up front. And it's B in at the point guard position. The first one falls. Both good. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Beautiful find by Levine there. Take Chicago with the rebound. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. And that one's good by Porter. Porter's watch a scoring battle. You're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. And Markinen throws it down. The ability to play inside out. The more Markinen attacks the rim, the more he creates opportunities for their perimeter game. And he jams it with authority. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. And really, after trailing the entire game, they've got to be feeling good about evening things up. Definitely. But this is the time where you want the momentum. Effort just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going on. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Be the pass to Markinen. And it's good for two. And it's Budso off the drive. It's deflected. Quarter passes to B. Hits it again. Wow. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable nine points for him from three-point range this half. That's nine more than he had in the first. Here's B. He got it again. Sensational. Had him. He's had the answer. To the paint. There's Levine. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch. B's got rebound number five here tonight. Levine passes to B. Good. He hits again. I mean, when had... By Carter. There's Levine. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in... At a big-time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. B the pass to Carter. Yes! With the nine, everything on the line, that the delivery. Shot and game clock separated by five. Porter passes to B. To the middle. There's Markinen. It falls! Not only can you count on Markinen to give you points, he can do it when it matters most. Two to tie or a three to win it all. Middleton outside. Back to Bledsoe. It's good! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. He has done everything possible to keep his team in this one. What a performance from him. And so the... Got it up in time. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. They're in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Levine dishes to Markinen, and Markinen throws it down. Feeling it tonight. Throws it in. Markinen's got 11 rebounds in the game. Another one. 
one goes. Incredible. His offensive excellence continues to be on full display. Great. He is now moved into second all-time for scoring in a playoff game. So, Bledsoe comes over to help. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. With the steal. B. And got it! Another basket. And that's... He put his team on his back and has delivered an incredible offensive show. And another one falls! He's getting the most of his looks within the flow. And, and nice to take a moment to reflect on the magnitude of what he's accomplished here this evening. Uh, G.A., you can't take it for granted, can you? This crowd witnessing a tremendous offensive team. Rebounds for him tonight. Wow. B, guarded by Bledsoe. Here's B. Makes it off the glass. And the Bulls lead by seven. Early in the driver's seat in the seat. Hey, what's up? This is Kenny here, man. I just wanted to congratulate you first on a great win. But you guys have been dominating, and specifically you, during this stretch. What's, what you got to do to keep this going? Keep it going, man. I just think we have to keep believing. You know, block out the distraction, block out the trolls. Don't start second-guessing ourselves. We have the best fans in the whole league, man. They got our backs 100%, and we don't want to let them down. All right, well, continue in much success, my brother. Got gotcha. you.